first of all, I have a question for, for both players. Um, what's, what's your overriding emotion at this, at this moment? But let's start with Fabiano. What's, what's the main emotion you're feeling after this game? Um, some minor disappointment because I thought I, at some point, have a, a very promising position. Um, but I, I, didn't, I didn't quite see the, exactly which moment I had something very good. I mean, I assume there were more dangerous options along the way. Magnus, what's your main feeling after the game? No, a bit, a bit of relief, obviously, since uh, this was a, it was a tough game and um, he was the one who had uh, all, the, all the chances. So, um, um, yeah, I'm happy to, to have survived it for sure. OK, I mean, is there, is there perhaps one moment when your a bit of regret comes in that you can identify already? No, I just don't know exactly. I mean, there were so many moments when I had different options. I mean, I think C5 is correct. Mm. And, and after DC5, I don't know if there was something here. I mean, I, of course, I have many possible moves. D6 is, is one of them, although I couldn't make it work. Rook D1 or Rook E1 or other moves. I mean, Rook E1, Rook F1 felt a bit strange to me because I thought he'll play Bishop F6. And then I, in a lot of lines, he gets G4 F3, and I, I I really would prefer to have this, this covered. Um, I mean, I think a lot of us were, were surprised that you kind of put the brakes on for a moment with h3. What was your, what was your thinking there? Yeah, maybe I should go for queen h5, um, bishop g6, queen h6. Yeah. And uh, well, probably that was a better option. I, I couldn't quite make it work, and I underestimated queen e8. So. Right. Magnus, what did you think? No, I mean, Maybe there were other options, but for sure this was the moment that I was the, I mean, I was the most worried. I was expecting c5, rook d1. Obviously there were, there were other, other options, but I thought this was always the main line. And here uh, I, w I was quite con concerned about queen h5. Um, I, I mean, I felt like after knight c4, g4, it should be working for me. Uh, but Instead I, of this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, queen h5, and then um, I would probably have to go bishop g6, queen h6, rook f7, knight c4, uh, bishop f8, and queen h3, and I don't know. Uh, it, was, it was very hard for me to uh, to evaluate, but it felt like uh, white is having having all the fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe queen c8 here? I don't know. Yeah, I thought about queen c8, but even even after... Even after a trade, I, it felt kind of uncomfortable. Mm. And uh, maybe not, maybe actually knight e5 immediately, and, uh, not to take on c8. <coughs> uh, I mean, take h3, gh, and push d6. Because with the, with the rook on d6, maybe I have rook f6 or something. Mm. Uh, okay, it felt, it felt like. So that was okay. It's it's obviously not clear. I mean, I can move the rook and bishop f5 will hit h3 and everything. But I felt like I, this felt like a dangerous moment to me. Yeah. Okay. Let's throw it open. Um, questions, please. If you'd like to say your name and who you're working for, please. So yeah. Hi, Robert Misset again from Dutch newspaper, the Volkskrant. Uh, Magnus and Fabio Bon, how important is the mental part of? Um, in a match like this, at this stage, and uh, for for example, does it feel like a kind of boost, Magnus, to to survive this game? And for you, Fabian, does it feel like missing a penalty, or was it that bad? <laughs> Miss, missing a penalty—that's uh, oh, I mean, I, I don't think the position ever was quite like that. Um, of course, I, I had some chances, but it's not like it's always going to work out, and. Uh, uh, and just because you put some pressure on Magnus doesn't mean that he collapses or anything. So, mm -hmm. I uh, yeah, I had some chances. I, I don't know how serious they were, um, but it definitely wasn't like missing a penalty. No. Mind you, you are in England. It, you know, you're, <laughs> we miss penalties very easily. But no. <laughs> um, Magnus. Not anymore. Oh well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. It could be a false dawn. Anyway, I can't remember the second. What, what's the the question was? To, Ah. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, it's important to try and keep calm, obviously. Um, and, uh, well, I mean, what, what can I say? It's, it's, 
Yeah, it's. I mean, it's very obvious that you need uh, you need a clear head and to to play good moves still. So uh, I don't know what to say. Okay, next question, please, uh, Mike. Mike Klein with Chess.com. Questions for Fabiano Caruana. On the Chess.com live show today, Hikaru Nakamura was on pretty much the whole time, and uh, he praised the choice of opening, and he said you're at your best in positions of pure calculation. And he also said that one of the reasons that he thinks you struggle a little bit more in faster time controls is that you're not as good in intuitive positions. What do you think of Hikaru's characterization of your play? Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, what can I say? Hikaru has his opinion. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I feel weird talking about my style, so I'd rather not talk about it. That's, that's fair enough. Um, Ian. Ian Rogers, uh, Lee Chess, a question for Fabiano. Uh, how, how early in your long think did you decide you wanted to play C5, and how much of that long think was trying to calculate everything? I actually didn't even consider another move besides C5, but I still thought I should think about it before playing it. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's just... Fair comment. Yeah. No, I just I didn't want to play a move like Bishop E2 or something, so I really only thought about C5 and about the consequences um, after DC5. But, yeah, I, I mean, I was really trying to make D6 work. I don't know why, but it felt very natural, and... Uh, um, oh, you mean D6 after? Yeah, but okay, yeah. it's probably yeah. probably not quite working after Queen D6 or D1 Queen C6. Okay. Fine. Okay, next question, please. Yes, from our Norwegian friend here. Yeah. <clears throat> question to Magnus. Uh, we have compared this match with the football today. Um, are you hoping for extra time? <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Uh, I, I, I mean, I'm gonna. If it gets to that, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take it and make try and make the most of it. But uh, there's a, there's a lot of chess to be played, and uh, before we may come to that time, I'm sure there are twists and turns to to come. Uh, that we both, yeah, we both have two white games each, and um, but yeah, I mean. Uh, as as for I, for today, I'm obviously happy with the draw with the black pieces and also kind of dangerous position. So, uh, but just that's because it's a good result in general, not because it give, it gets me closer to a playoff. Okay, next question, please. Yeah, please. Uh, Kedar Lili from India. Uh, Magnus, were you surprised that uh, he played the main line Sicilian today? And did it touch your mind around the Queen H5 that around the same time you were behind uh, in, the last, uh, in the last tournament, the last uh, championship? So two questions, basically. Um, I, mean, I, I mean, I did lose the eighth game last time out, but it was, um, that was, I mean, Sergei played well, but that was to much, to a much larger degree, uh, an own goal, uh, and um, no, I mean, I thought my position was dangerous, obviously, and the time situation wasn't wasn't great either. But I couldn't see a good way to to deviate. That was the that was the main issue. So I just had to. Uh, to go for the sharp line and 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 hope for uh, for the best, basically. Uh, but yeah, I mean, clearly uh, H3 was was a relief for me since then. I I knew uh, Queen E8 was was going to be uh, uh, good and uh, very very likely uh, save me the game quite comfortably. Yeah. Yes, please. <coughs> Jörn from NRK in Norway. A uh, question to both players. You seem annoyed by some sounds in the middle of the game. What was that? Yeah, that's a good question. We, we, saw, you, we saw you both looking around like something was going on. Yeah, I don't know. What something turned on in the playing hall. It was some sort of microphone and we heard something. I don't, uh, I, I don't know who it was or what it something was. Something out here. 
I don't think it was from the audience. It was something turned on there. We didn't actually hear anything. Uh, there were there were no moves at least as far as. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. But, but I, I, yeah, obviously, obviously that's that's unacceptable. So. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Was it Judith's voice? No, it wasn't cut. <laughs> no, I mean, it was some was, some kind of electronic buzz. Or, I no, have a there were there were actually people talking. Oh really? But I, I don't. It was not very clear. Oh. Uh, so. Okay. Uh, I mean. How long did that last? Not very long, fortunately. I mean, this is not something we should take in public in general. Uh, but I mean, the organizers, I'm sure they are aware, and they will they will fix it because it was. Was not okay. Not, no, not no okay. I understand. We did. We, we we were curious why you were kind of. You know. All right. Let's uh, let's take one last question. I think. Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Uh, mine is uh, how satisfied are you with your team's preparation with black and white? This. I didn't quite catch that. Oh, uh, how satisfied are you with your team's preparation uh, in black and white so far? How satisfied are you with with your team's preparation? I, I, my my team are uh, they're working their asses off and I'm very happy with with them. Uh, and then it's just up to me to to play. Okay, I think we'll leave you there. Thanks very much indeed. And uh, rest day tomorrow, game nine uh, follows after that. Thanks, thank you. Thanks for the players.